All right, we appreciate you out, out here at Batesburg Leesville High School. Coach uh, Perry Wilwright joining us here. And, Coach, uh, obviously a, a game that I know you'd like to have a couple things back uh, from this past weekend. Lose to Gilbert 32-24. to But, man, four fumbles or, or four turnovers, two touchdowns called back, and two other times inside the 20 uh, where you didn't score. It, it just was one of those nights in a way, wasn't it, for the Panthers? Yeah, you know, when you're playing a good football team, and Coach Lee Park's done a good job over there, and those kids play really hard, and they did a lot of good things. But when you're playing a good football team in a big game, like, we don't have any off weeks. So, you know, we got to come and play every week. You, and you make the mistakes we made, you know, it's going to be tough to come out on top. Uh, our kids did a good job. We fought to the end, had a chance all the way to the end to come back. But, uh, you know, just too many turnovers and uh, too many opportunities to miss, you know, getting inside the 22 times and not scoring hurt us. And, so definitely those little things we got to work on as we go forward. You know, we talk about when you have a tough loss like that, uh, no matter what level it is for kids, kids, men, whatever, get it out of your system because if you let it linger, it's just going to hurt you the next week. Do you feel like, do you get the feeling practice this week that the kids have been able to, as we say, flush this one and move on? Yeah, I think they have. You know, we worried about that because, you know, Gilbert, it was an emotional game, a rivalry game and stuff, so you worry about kids – Worrying about that into next week, but uh, you know we told them after the game Friday night. You know when we get back Monday, it's over with. We won't talk about the game. We got to move on. But you know, uh, even though we want to win every game and stuff like that, but the loss may have helped us a long one. It let us reevaluate ourselves as coaches, as players, and make start focusing on some of the little mistakes we were making that can help us get better and continue and grow as we go on this season. Well, Coach, I don't know what you were thinking or your AD was thinking when you made this schedule this year, but my gosh, you moved from them, and now you've got Newberry coming up this week. Brutal early season, non-conference slate. Tell me a little bit about Newberry and uh, kind of what you guys are going to need to do team-wise to be able to come out of there with a positive result. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get any easier for us. You know, Newberry this week, Mid-Carolina next, Luda the following week, and then into our region. But uh, we feel like it's going to prepare us going into our region play because our region's really good, so you got to play good teams to get ready. And we may take some lumps early on, Gary. But, yeah, Newberry's a great team. I mean, when you got a, a Phil Strickland coach team, it's going to be very sound on both sides of the ball. They're not going to make a lot of mistakes to hurt themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's one thing that we got to make sure we don't make any mistakes to hurt ourselves because we know they're not. Um, you know, offensively, he's going to be in his eye formation. And he's going to line up and try to just pound you right down the field, and then he's going to get in enough spread stuff to throw it just to back mm-hmm. you off some. Um, it's going to be important to us to have a very successful first and second down, you know, get them behind the chains, get them where they want, don't want to be. If they're, <coughs> excuse me, if they're successful every first and second down, mm-hmm. you know, and they got short yards, it's really going to be in their favor. Then offensively, we got to be able to score on some big plays. Mm-hmm. You know, they got some good athletes over there and do a good job. But we got to have some big plays and counteract what they're doing and try to get them behind the chains. Tell me a little bit about uh, your quarterback. He's only a junior, which is great news, but I know that he does some really good things. Bishop Cannon, over 100 yards rushing against Gilbert and passing a touchdown both ways and had one or two called back as well. Talk a little to me a little bit about your quarterback. Um, you know, he's done a good job. Bishop played for, for some last year as a sophomore. Um, you know, him and Mike Smith, our other quarterback last year, was a senior kind of split time and role. But this year, you know, it's his team, and, uh, you know, offensively we're going to kind of go as he goes. Um, he's done a good job. He can hurt people with his feet and with his arm, um, you know, and he's continuing to grow, and he's still learning because this is his first time truly taking over. His athletic ability has helped him mm-hmm. catch up quicker because he's over to come, uh, overcome some mistakes. Sometimes he makes a decision making the reads. But, mm-hmm. you know, his leadership's coming along, and he continues to grow, and that's a big thing for him is get a little bit better each week. And then, you know, we really focus on him trying to realize he because he wants to win the game every play. And, you know, as a quarterback, you got to kind of take what they give you and play with the end of the game. And that's the next big step for him to take is to learn that, you know, he's just got to play each play and get better each play and not try to win it right now. Tell me a little bit about practice this week. Have you been pleased with the way the kids have responded to the tough one last week and the way they prepared for Newberry? Yes, you know, we, we've had a good week of practice. We've come out, uh, Chris, you know, we fixed some of our, our mistakes we were making defensively with our alignment and things like that and getting to the right position. And offensively, we've come out and fixed some of our little things, you know, not running the correct routes, uh, make it, fixing some of our reads at quarterback and up front, some of our block assignments. But the kids have done a good job coming out focused this week and getting ready for our next, our next game because they, they understand here every game is a big game. You know, it's not one of those where, all right, we got this week to recover. You know, you better show up every week or something back can happen to you. Yeah, it's a brutal schedule. I think I saw Alabama there in week eight. So. Yeah, it, it seems like when we hit our region with Bamberg, Earhart, Allen, Fairfax, and 
Callum County, Silver Bluff, you know, Barnwood, well, it's not going to get any easier. So, Man. you know, we use this time to hopefully prepare us and be ready for those tough ball games. I hear you. Well, best of luck to you coming up against Newberry again. And by the way, uh, we're sitting here on Thursday afternoon. The game will be on Friday as originally yeah, as, as planned. Right now, it will be on Friday. Um, uh, Coach Strickland and myself will reevaluate it tomorrow around lunchtime and kind okay. of see, see where the uh, weather's doing and stuff like that. But our game will be played at Mid Carolina High School since Newberry's still finishing up some renovations on theirs. And that'll be at Mid Carolina probably on Friday, but yes, could be not, changed to Saturday depending on weather. Probably changed to Saturday around 11 if it got changed. Okay, great. We'll keep in touch with you on that and keep folks posted on, on our uh, Midlands High School Sports Twitter page. Coach, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you again next week. All right, thank you.